Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I asked an artificial intelligence to give me the most overplayed, most famous and best best music pieces out there and it gave me 18 different ones. Today we are going to make a tier list out of them and roast the hell out of them. Number 1, Beethoven's Symphony number 5. Many people love the symphony and it's one of the most famous and most overplayed definitely. And I think it's great but I have still not understood Beethoven, for me it's a very absolute way of thinking and listening and feeling about music and that's why I can't give it more than a B. Number two, Rhapsody in Blue. I'm not the biggest jazz fan, although I have to say I like the piece, but it's not more a B here as well. It's cool, but that's it. Next one, The Four Seasons from Vivaldi. Who would have guessed that? I think it's kind of sad that it's so overplayed and has such a bad reputation because I actually do believe that it's a great piece and I really like it, so I would give it an A. I decided I want to change the order. Beethoven 5 and Gershwin goes down to C and I will give The Four Seasons a B. People are gonna hate me for this. Common Suite number one. As a child, I used to love the Common Suite. We had a CD from a Woodwind Orchestra. I think it was literally one of my favorite pieces. But nowadays, I can't stand this opera. I watched it half a year back and I have to say I really hated it. I really don't like Common at all. So, a D. And now something all of you waited for. Canon in D, I guess it's minor. And obviously it's in the name, it gets a D. The next piece, that's kind of fun because it's actually my favorite piece. So obviously it gets an S. It's the Nutcracker from Tchaikovsky. If you don't know it, it's time you go listen to it because it's one of the greatest pieces out there in my opinion. The story is kind of crap, but the music is so beautiful and so painful. I don't know why I like this sort of painful music that much, but it triggers something in me. I think it's the only piece, every time I listen to it, I, I literally get tears in my eyes and want to start to cry, but it's really the only piece that makes me feel like this. And that's why it definitely deserves an S. Wedding March by Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi, very famous as well. I think it's it's cool, but yeah, it's not more than a C. It's not that awesome. Eine kleine Nachtmusik from Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Quite overplayed. I think a lot of people don't like it because of this, but I think it's actually quite awesome. I don't think I have listened to it in the last three years, so I, I don't remember everything from it. But I think it was very good, I really liked it, so I give it an A. Mozart Symphony number 40. I guess it's my favorite Mozart Symphony, so I would at least give it a B rating because it's still not Gustav Mahler or Tchaikovsky, it's not this like very late romantic big epic orchestra music. The first movement is obviously super famous and the second one, the harmonies, they're quite modern for Mozart. Even if I'm not the biggest Mozart fan, I do like this piece. Tchaikovsky's Symphony in E minor, in my opinion, even more depressive than Tchaikovsky's Symphony number no. 6. But as you might know, I like painful music. So, yeah, Tchaikovsky 5 is that's nice. I, I really like Tchaikovsky 5. It's very emotional. It's also, I think, just based on one theme actually, the whole symphony. Well, it's very similar, everything. But I do like it, and I think it's awesome. It's just pure musical depression. Brahms Symphony number no. one. I do have to admit, I don't know the whole thing, but I think that I quite like it. I think it's the second melody of the first movement. It's just very beautiful. But I don't think I can give it more than a B. It's B or an A, definitely not an S. I go with B. I know I'm not so much into Brahms in general, not the biggest Brahms fan. I really do like basically everything that is more modern based on the harmony than Brahms, like Wagner, Bruckner, Mahler, Strauss and Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky is like my number one, as you might know now. Someone in the comments even called me Tchaikovsky, this was hilarious, I don't know if you're still watching my videos. Yeah, that's what I like. Bach, Mess in B minor, same with the Brahms one, I don't know it enough to say if it's great or not, but I guess for me it would be B, because I'm also not the biggest Bach fan even if I think that Bach is the greatest composer ever. 
and Beethoven and Mozart as well, with Bach together. I don't like to listen to them that much. I don't know when the last time was I listened to a Bach piece. When editing this video, and I have to admit, the Courier is fucking awesome. But what I know from the Bach mess is kind of great, so I just give it a B for Bach. And now the monumental Order to Joy from Beethoven as well. I also don't know the whole piece. I actually learned the first three movements to play it on the piano from the score. Very difficult, didn't make fun at all. I can't give it more than a C. I know you might think I'm crazy. Maybe I am, yeah, could be. But it's not more than a C for me at the moment. I would not like to listen to it right now. If the Berlin Philharmonic would play here, somewhere in the near of me, Beethoven 9, I would go listen to it, yeah. But just if it's the Berlin Philharmonic, not any other orchestra. Mozart, Piano Concerto number 21. By now you should realize that I prefer late romantics or the classical and baroque period. So you can guess where this goes. See, I'd rather listen to Rachmaninoff piano concertos. Although the second movement of the 21th piano concerto is kind of cool, but it's nothing that triggers me emotionally. Tchaikovsky Symphony Number no. Six. Although I really like Tchaikovsky, and I still think Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony is one of the greatest of all. It's not my favorite. I cannot give it an S. I have to give an A. Editing Carl changed his mind. It's an S. If I hear a great orchestra play a piece, what I realized that somehow, sometimes you're in the right mood to be affected by certain pieces. If the musicians can make you feel something very strong and it makes you relate to something that you've been through, that you lived through, then it's great music. Number 17, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. I literally forgot how the third movement evolved, so I went back listening to it. And I realized I actually do really like this piece. I wasn't aware of this. So thanks to this video, maybe I start to like Beethoven more than I do now. I don't like the second movement although that much. The first movement is a bit slow, but still they're cool. So I'll give it a B. And the last one on the list recommended by the artificial intelligence chat GPT, Mozart Symphony number no. 41. <sighs> I don't like it. It's so overplayed, it's very famous, but it's also very annoying, especially the second movement. Oh, come on. Like, like People say that Mozart was a creative genius, and he was definitely, and how he was writing things down, writing his scores. And you can look at the manuscripts, it's literally everything is in his brain, and he does not erase anything. And it's a miracle, and he's definitely a genius, but also a few movements we had in a music theory class, a, s a slow movement from I don't know which symphony. It was so horrible, literally. 41 is not that bad, although the second movement also sucks quite a lot. Fourth movement, it's super impressive, but I don't enjoy it that much, so I'm giving it a D. Let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos as well. Go check out this video right here, it's freaking awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see each other in the next one.